Hello, Internet. This is Bone Carlos coming to you live from Cloud Kingdom to bring you another StarCraft 2 commentary. This is going to be another R cast it kind of thing, a subreddit on Reddit. And the players are going to be Melanator spawning as I would say the pink Protoss. His opponent is going to be Uncle Buck spawning as the green Zerg. Now, uh, these guys are, I think, Uncle Buck from what I saw looking up his profile. He is high platinum while Melanator is low diamond give or take and uh, apparently there's gonna be some kinda cheeky shenanigans and yes <laughs> there is Uncle Buck going for I would say a quote unquote six seven pool depending on how you wanna classify it uh, he still does have his uh, six drones up but normally I would say a six pool is when you immediately built a spawning pool without using those extra fifty minerals to put down uh, those drones he's already putting down a building up a couple of drones so not really a complete all in it's going to be delayed by about 20 to 30 seconds and uh, melanator is actually not even scouting so <laughs> he's just going forge fast explained uh blindly i mean normally this is a great build to do up against zerg but when your opponent is six pulling like this it can be very very iffy now, forge already does go down he still hasn't scouted it out just yet so if he actually did put uh, send that probe out to scout, he would already see this coming. He would be the oh shit reaction, put down a couple of more uh, pylons, put down a cannon just to stave off the attack from these zergs. And see a little extractor trick. A uh, melanator finally does spots it. Uh, he sees those zergs coming up. Sees two, four, six zergs are on the field, and given the lateness of the scout, this actually looks fairly normal. Looks like an early pool. Uh, but if he didn't spot these six zerglings, uh, he is going to be in trouble. And it looks like he didn't spot them, since he is not sending anything to build and to block this off. Uncle Buck is uh, giving him a little winky face because he does know what is going on. Uh, Uncle Buck passes by the pylon, passes by the forge, and uh, this isn't going to go well at all for Melanator one bit. He already tries to get all of his drones, tries to get a nice little surround. He does finally do get a surround. Uh, looks like a couple of uh, Zerglings do go down. Only three are left and the Zerglings are forced to pull back. But what are the losses? Six workers were killed. Only a few, uh, actually only four of those Zerglings were taken down. So a little bit of an interesting trade-off. Ah, uh, Photon Cannon is going down somewhere. <laughs> Zerglings are going to be chased away uh, as soon as this uh, spine crawler is done it's just going to go ahead and nibble away at these pylons and have free reign for it for a very long time what you want to do if you're going to do a pylon wall off here is um, put the cannon up front put the pylon in the back and then get, put your probe up high to give yourself vision so something like this uh, doesn't happen uh, these probes are still doing their job harassing uh, those probes and the Zerglings finally do go down. So now it's going to be the most delayed Forge Fast Expand of all time. I mean, by now you already want to have your Nexus up and running, already up and mining, mining those minerals. But with uh, the cheeky 6 pool shenanigans, or 7 pool shenanigans, along with this pylon block off, uh, it's, everything is completely delayed. I mean, it's almost a 5 minute and a half mark. And the food count is 18 to 14 and Melanator is actually putting down a double assimilator not sure exactly what he's gonna go for there uh, maybe he might be going for some some sort of void ray harass since he knows his opponent hasn't expanded yet uh, uh, the extractor barely has gone down a uh, macro hatch is being built still on pure link tech and uh, Melanator has no idea what is exactly inside uh, his opponent's base but he has a guess and right now, you actually want to—he wants to take. I would like for him to take his probe and plant it right up here, just so he could have himself and give himself vision of this spine crawler. But eh, he decided to pull the probe back and just gonna go ahead and head it back home. A cybernetic core is already being put down, along with an extra pylon. Actually, that's a smart pylon since these are going to go down very soon, uh, any day now. He's mining, fully mining out of these two assimilators. 
has a nice complete wall off and it looks like he's gonna go ahead and fast expand or actually not really fast expand just expand it around the normal time of the game so uh, scratch that void reaction well Uncle Buck is gonna go ahead and focus mainly on these zerglings since no roach warren is going down as of yet two of those four pounds are down the third is gonna go down very quickly uh, along with that fourth and once that goes down that cannon is just gonna be uh, unpowered and very very useless an evil chamber with this roach warren at the same time already has a lair up and running so I'm not sure exactly what uncle bucks plan is at the moment uh, a hydralist then hmm <laughs> Double Queen, Hatchery, Lair, this pollen will go down, I'm still surprised that he's putting down a Hydra list and I'm pretty sure Uncle Buck is just fearing that uh, Void Ray harass but without any kind of scouting information he's just pretty much building that blind and seeing as how Melanator hasn't even put down a Stargate just yet, I'm interested to see exactly why he's putting that down, maybe... I don't know, experience, past experience has taught him that once something like this happens, once that cheese fails, expect Void Ray. But uh, he's going to have uh, DTs on the field of play. Not sure exactly how powerful this is going to be since he, uh, since Uncle Buck already has Laratech. He's going to be able to build an Overseer fairly quickly. Finally, the hatchery at the expansion for Uncle Buck does go down. And is going to go ahead and be up and running in about a minute or so. Well, over in Melanator's base, he's just turning out those probes. Nothing doing, nothing too crazy. Looks like he did forget the <laughs> warp gate research. And still only on a single gateway. So, he's not going to be able to produce those DTs that quickly. Uh, especially since he only has one gateway and no warp gate tech. And this, this Dark Shrine is going to be finished up uh way before that warp gate tech is done a nice little exodus of uh, these drones is going to go ahead and put over at the natural expansion he does have a nice saturation at his main a uh, pretty decent saturation and is keeping up with his injects and mostly that's due to the fact that he really isn't much else to do so good for uncle buck to keeping those mechanics alive especially when you have really nothing else to do at the moment halfway done with that warp gate research a first dt is on the way but he's putting it behind the wall. So if he builds this, he's going to have to destroy one of these structures to be able to get it out uh, unless he builds a robotics facility to, <laughs> to build a warp prism. But eh, given that he's not even putting down, he's putting down a couple more gateways to start building those units. And Uncle Buck does spot that dark shrine. So let's see if Uncle Buck uh, reacts accordingly. Let's see if he's gonna put down a couple of spore crawlers, maybe at, in his uh, mineral line, mineral line, maybe at his front. But right now, both of those are just macroing up heavily. I mean, Uncle Buck is actually macroing up heavily, joining up very heavily, while uh, Melanator is just uh, starting to put all his eggs in that DT basket. The warp gates are done. A couple of gateways are on the way, uh, and this single DT it looks like he did place it in the right side of the field the single DT is gonna actually wreak some havoc there is an overlord there he can be morphed into an overseer but there is zero uh, vision or detection as of right now there are plenty of hydrogen that's gonna be produced but this DT is just gonna go ahead and scatter around Uncle Buck's base to see exactly what's going down and an overseer finally does get built but this dark Templar is gonna go straight for those Queens see if he actually does do any sort of damage the energy is too low there isn't going to be any transfuses available but the overseer is there it's going to be killed very quickly with those hydralisks with those queens and uh not sure exactly what else melanator has in store for this game he's putting on a couple of photon cannons he saw those hydralisks uh, he's uh, scared uh, just a little bit, putting down a robotics facility with a couple more gateways as backup, and he is uh, has a nice saturation on his natural. His main is decently saturated as well, so uh, with those cheeky shenanigans earlier in the game, uh, it's pretty much looking at about, I would say, about a five, six minute delay, and warping in these units behind this wall off, so now he's going to have to destroy these to get through, but the robotics facility is there. Maybe a warp prism is going to be built to hop these guys over this wall off and Uncle Buck still hasn't taken a sturdy it looks like he actually is gearing up to take the sturdy sending his drone over to the third the hatchery does go down so three bases finally for Uncle Buck while a s couple of uh, proxy pylons for Melanator 
Melon Hitter in the front positions. Warps in a Zealot just to scout, just to see if that hatchery is done at the moment. The Zergling there is just making sure no probes get by to build that third for himself. Blink is being built, plus one attack. And Warp Prism is being built along with a robotics base. So, a very interesting tech pass by Melanator and it just shows I mean he's just trying to build a massive army not very lean as day nine would say but just all over the place and it definitely shows I mean his supply is very inferior to Uncle Buck the investor count is uh, actually the harvester count is about the same so that's surprising given to how hard Uncle Buck macroed uh, earlier in the game and he's actually very heavily lar he does have plenty of larva but has the doesn't have the resources to be able to produce the amount of units that he that he wants but after those 18 drones being built he's gonna go ahead and have the economy that he wants gonna <sighs> looks like this could be an archon drop on the main uh, on the main base a spine crawler is gonna be there for defense but archon is gonna two archons are gonna churn through this where is it two archons are gonna churn through that sp uh, spine crawler very easily and if he drops it here he's gonna churn through these drones uh, very very quickly as well especially with that plus one attack a single colossus is being built uh, by melanator and we're gonna just go ahead and see the damage the carnage that these archons do to this drone already has one kill two kills three kills look at those workers being killed it looks like he's gonna go ahead and start focusing down that, that queen but decides to actually finally does decide to give Chase one more blast, one more volley. We'll take it out. And once the army of Uncle Buck gets on the field of play, Melanie decides to just head on home. And wow, indeed, those Archons just chair through the biological units of the Zerg. Couple more volleys looking at the destruction. Not much else to see. 17 workers killed already by Melanator. He's going to go ahead and kill a couple of more. The, the units, the roaches are there, but Melanator is going to say, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the Archon and get destroyed by those Hydralis. So, but I would still say a very even trade in my opinion. He took care of a lot of drones, pretty much that entire uh, larva inject that he, that Uncle Buck used to build those 18 drones earlier in the game. So now back on equal footing uh, for the Harvester count for both players, but the food count is still very high, especially with a unit count. I mean, we see a single Colossi, five Zealots, six Zockers compared to six Hydralisk, 23 Roaches on the field of play. So right now, if uh, if Uncle Buck just decided to shove forward into the heart of Melanator's base, I would be he'd be very interesting to see exactly what the outcome, especially actually especially with all of these photon cannons. So right now, Melanator is turt turtling up very well. He's still producing uh, those stalkers. He does have blinks, so he'll be able to blink across this uh, little wall. And Uncle Buck is just going to go ahead and scatter around, and he's going to spot these uh, this proxy pile. I'm not sure if he's going to spot this one. He did spot a couple of war pins. And those zealots do get killed very, very quickly. Ow, indeed, spreading that creep over at that third. Those zealots were destroyed. That probe is just going to go ahead and run for his life. And a nice little creep highway, actually, by Uncle Buck. He's just going to go ahead and push right to the front of Melanator's base. And right now, uh, I'm not sure exactly what Melanator's plan is. I mean, it looks like he will take down that warp gate. He is researching plus two attack already. Actually, he's researching plus three attack. Already has plus two attack on the field. So uh, no other research just yet. Once that offensive power, wants that DPS, has uh, plenty of warp gates now to be able to support on two bases. But if he's not careful, he's going to completely mine out his... Actually, this is a lot of warp gates for two bases. This is about 11 warp gates, not to mention that single robotics facility turning out those uh, colossi. So this is just too many unit producing structures to support on two bases while Uncle Buck takes his fourth. And he's still turning out. He actually has double Evo, so double upgrades. Still a little bit of a frowny face since he was able to take out that overlord. And that creep is going to go ahead and just die in and of itself while um, Melanator is going to try, try to take his fourth. It looks like uh, Melanator is going to go ahead and try to expand, but no observer there to be able to take out these creep terminals just yet. He's not even producing one. He's just continuing that Colossus production, and a couple more pylons are being built, and the, slowly the food count is getting a little bit more even, especially since Uncle Buck isn't really attacking just yet. He's just uh, macroing up. Uh, playing very defensively, not doing much, and the units are completely out of position. I mean, this hatchery is going to go down before the units do get on the field of play, especially if Uncle Buck doesn't react in time. The reaction does happen, but ah, these Colossi are going to churn 
through these roaches. The roaches do try to push forward to try to pick off those colossi, but the damage is being dealt. There is just too much on the field for Melanator. The supply count is going to even up pretty soon, but 19 roaches are being produced. The, <laughs> the colossi do go down to this superior corruptor count. A nice blink action to save a few from the, those roaches, but still this hatchery is going to go ahead and go down. There's still a single spy crawling doing the damage, uh, but Melanator doesn't worry about it too much. A blink action does save a couple. The roaches do pop and are going to go ahead and push forward the advantage and roach versus stalker, especially when the numbers are overwhelming, is going to be in the roaches' favor, but not before. That hatchery does go down, and if Melanator spotted this, I would actually swing by, attack, blink forward, pick this off, and head on home. That'll give you actually the base advantage at the moment, since your fourth, actually your third, is just being built. So, three Colossus were taken down in that exchange. I would actually like to see him continue that uh, DT production, especially since you have uh, an exorbitant amount of gas, depending, or compared to the minerals that you have, put down uh, those DTs, put down those Archons, they'll churn through these roaches very, very quickly, especially, with, well, actually, they have two, two upgrades, uh, while Melanator only has plus three attack, plus one armor is being researched, but it's not going to be uh, in use anytime soon. Uncle Buck takes that forward position, uh, while well, Sin Colossi is just hanging out here for defense, overlooking this single probe, making sure everything is going hunky dory. He decides to uh, position himself in a different spot to make sure, well, there is two probes on the field, so uh, mining, so he does need to put himself in a different spot. Uh, these stalkers are going to go ahead and see if they can try to pick off Blink around, show off their skills, and Uncle Buck actually takes his fourth, fifth base. While well, 7 kills have been done, 8 kills, 9 kills, 10 kills, 11 kills, 12 kills. So definitely this Dark Templar has definitely paid for itself. Uncle Buck says forget it. I don't even want to worry about that DT just now. I'm going to push forward into your main base with Broodlords, with Roaches, and say wait a minute. Those are Colossi. I'm going to pull back just a little bit. The Photon Cannons are in range, and those probes are just going to go ahead and wave hello to all the damage that's being done. These Colossi already have 5 Three kills. The blink four does occur. They're going to try to pick off of those broodlords, but those roaches are going to take down those colossus. In the meantime, still three uh, broodlords left. One broodlord goes down. Two broodlords going down. One broodlord is left. The corruptors do push forward to try to take out that colossus. They do succeed, but the roach count is dwindled. It is down to nothing. A uh, fresh warping by Melanator gives him the reinforcement scene to push off this entire attack uh, by. Mm, Uncle Buck and right now it's back to even kill on both players I mean looking at the killed unit counts we see 118 units killed by Melanator 28 of those were drones and yeah so that that resources and loss tab it shows that around exactly where you would expect to see in a PVZ uh, nice saturation at that uh, natural expansion and the third is going to be filled up very quickly especially since that all of those pros were uh, transferred over to that third and looks like Melanator is just going to head and scatter around and see exactly what's going on on his side of the map make sure there's no kind of crazy proxy hatchery and still this another dark templar warp warp and is going to delay the uh, the mining at this third for a quite some time Time. This Dark Temple is trying to get out of the vision, out of the detection. Does manage to head on home and live is going to live to fight another day. But this fourth base, eh, I do not think it's even been it has not been scouted. My Melanator, yeah, uh, Melanator is still stuck at the at his main base, just trying to still trying to play def defensively, especially after that push by Uncle Buck. The food count is around the same, so both players are still trying to macro up. Uh, or in macro up and rebuild their armies and infestors are on the field so uh, those fungal girls are going to lock down those blink stalkers very easily uh, not sure if there's any more broodlords on the field there's only a single corruptor so not sure if Uncle Buck's going to save that for the Colossi or going to tra transform that into a Broodlord. But throughout this entire game, both players have been, well, actually, uh, both players have been keeping their energy or their money quite low. Uh, and that's actually something that I'm very proud of on both players. A little bit of a round of applause for that while four Infestors pop along with eight Zerglings. Not sure exactly what that's going to be for. More than likely going to try to lock down the army of Melanator in place and do a nice little surround with those Zerglings. Especially since uh, he's actually, he should be at around plus three. And that's plus three at... Uh, melee or missile attack not sure if he has the same thing for melee nope no melee attack just yet but he has two ground armor uh, for his ground forces while melanator is still not 
Nah, she's building plus two uh, armor. So two, three, going to be on the field uh, very quickly. While it looks like a DT harassment is still going on, denying the uh, the mining for Uncle Buck. Three more are being produced. More than likely, those are going to be transformed directly into Archons as soon as possible. While at the same time, he takes his fourth base. So both players are very, very cautious, deciding not to attack. What I like to see from both players, actually, is a bit of harassment. Uh, maybe some more Prism harass by Melanard. He's doing great with the DTs. Uh, but some warp prism harass uh, maybe a warp and a dt attack it here drop in a warp prism here or here just to keep your opponent off a balance and the same thing could be said for uncle buck uh overlord drops maybe some nidus warming uh just doing anything just to harass your opponent especially since if because if you leave your opponent do what he want you're just going to find yourself a maxed army shoved down your throat when you least expect it and right now melanie is just poised to try to take out this fourth a little bit of a repositioning by these spine crawlers while the main army of melanator is actually in place a single infest is going to push forward and i see if we're going to see a fungal a fungal does go down locks down most of these colossi in place uh but they're going to go ahead and push forward anyway finally the, the roaches and uh, the zerglings are there the infestors are going to try to pull back a couple of more fungal growths uh they do have the energy for that but they're not being put down just yet looks like no fungal growths just yet he looks like he's trying to lock down and do the damage to these colossi but they are armored they're not going to take that much damage from those fungal growths what you want to do is fungal growth these stalkers so they don't blink away so they do get taken down fairly quickly by those roaches and then finish off of the colossi with the remaining roach force and it looks like melanir is being forced to pull back uh, looks like all those infestors were killed and uncle buck is just sacking most of his roaches to try to pick off this, this Colossi, and it's just going to go ahead and be micro, and one more volley will take it down, and it does finally go down, a blink forward is going to go ahead and finish off the rest of these roaches, no use in trying to retreat, actually this one actually survived, <laughs> so good for that roach, survived and lived to fight another day, but at that point, I would have just attacked commanded holding them in place and trying to do as much damage as possible a fresh warp, uh, fresh uh, transformations of those uh, corruptors, hopefully you're going to see some more brutal action, and actually those zerglings were uh, therefore defense and trying to defend any sort of DT harassment with uh, that spore crawl, those spine crawlers, uh, it's going to be A-OK -okay for the time being. The natural is mined out, the main is mined out, and it looks like the third is uh, has a nice saturation. So right now it is two mining bases versus one, two, three mining bases, and actually the natural expansion still does have a few more minerals. So looking at the income tab, we see the harvester count in the favor of Uncle Buck, but not my much. So the income is around the same. The economy is evenly matched. And another DT is going to go ahead and push forward and try to finish off this hatchery. 191 HP, but actually the Dark Temple is just going to go ahead and scatter around and see if he's going to try to take out that queen. A couple more swipes will do it, but he decides to change his target. He's going to take down that hatchery, and the hatchery does go down after three swipes, and the army of Uncle Buck is too late. And it is all over. That queen, I believe that queen does get credit for that kill. And immediately the hatchery is being rebuilt. Uh, it looks like Melanator takes his fourth. He looks like he wants to take his fifth. He's going to go ahead and position that probe. And he's going to go ahead and put down that next line as soon as possible. Uncle Buck is positioning his army in the forward position. Still that creep uh, highway is still there. I mean, Melanator takes that out. Spilled a single observer out of this robotic facility pick off these creep tumors just to give yourself that much more breathing room the last going to be give your opponent less information about you and give them that uh, take away that advantage of that upgraded speed so uh looks like a, actually two infestors on the field to play but most uh, mostly a roach army a couple of corruptors there and it looks like it's going to be blank stalkers archons and a couple of colossi versus infestor roach and corruptor eh, with a few zerglings mixed in <laughs> they don't even have speed Gotta feed him that Red Bull, <laughs> Uncle Buck. Give him those wings. Uh, looks like the units of Melanor are streaming forward, are pushing forward, catching Uncle Buck off guard. He still he was busy elsewhere, and half of his army was destroyed in the process, and now he is forced to head on home. This investor is looks like an investor might get picked off, and it does. A blink forward did occur, took down a couple of a couple of those roaches and those roaches are getting a little bit ballsy a blink forward does take out one take out two and finally <laughs> three more roaches do decide to push forward but again pulled back pause k k looks like everything is back to uh, normal the fourth base uh actually that looks like the fifth base of melanator is done finally an observer is in the mix is going to go ahead and spot those creep tumors going to go ahead and take out this creep highway while uncle buck is reeling right now i mean he does have the food advantage but he doesn't have the unit advantage or the unit composition advantage at this point you want to have plenty of brood lords you want to have five six seven eight brood lords you want to have 
uh, that uh, six, seven, eight infestors just to lock down the stalkers, just to take out all of those units of a Melanator. But right now, it looks like the unit composition does favor Melanator. He does have those Archons. He does have those Colossi. He does have that Blink Stalker. I, if he had a Mothership, I would just say GG Uncle Buck. Uh, but as of yet, I don't even think there is a Starport being built anywhere on the field of play. Nope, still producing uh, those Colossi with those Stalkers and a few Archons, obviously, of course. And it looks like this might turn into an old-fashioned base trade since the armies are out of position for both players let's see exactly what uncle buck decides to do it looks like he's not choosing to defend it looks like it is going to come down to a base trade there is an overseer i did see an overseer in here and it actually was oh <laughs> Oh, uh, not sure where that overseer went. It's finally there on the field of play. So this, uh, these DTs are going to go down. But it was too little, too late. They did a ton of damage to those roaches. Finally, Melanator decides to engage a blink. It does give himself uh, the ability to shoot down these Broodlords. And these Colossi are going to rip the shreds. The roaches along with that Archon backup. And right now, all the roaches are going to be destroyed in a few seconds. And that's gonna, just going to leave pure Broodlords in the air. But once these blink stalkers get into position, they are going to go down fairly quickly. Another blink forward does take down the another one. It looks like they are going to stutter step forward and take down the second. Take down the third. Take down the fourth. And right now, the entire army of Uncle Buck has been destroyed. Uh, six more Corruptors are being uh, built along with four Infestors, uh, but that's just not going to be able to stop the army of Melanator at the time being. Right now, Melanator does, he needs the census. He took down most of those, he took down all of those Broodlords, which is a solid six, seven, or uh, six, seven row of them. He took down a bunch of Infestors and most of the, and all of the Roach army. Press your advantage, attack, take the initiative, and you will win this game very, very quickly. But right now, he's just making sure none of his probes are staying idle. He's just finally transferring them over. It looks like he is just warp uh, dumping all of his minerals into his army. Zealots are there, but they do not have the leg speed. It looks like a blink forward is going to catch most of these drones, and this hatchery is going to go down for the second time. And right now, that just leaves nothing for Uncle Buck. It looks like there is only one mining base left. Two brewers aren't being built alongside seven uh, infestors, but... That won't be enough to stop the army, but that doesn't matter since it is retreating back to the center of the map. It looks like Mel Melanator is still a little bit skittish, doesn't want to attack too forward, just wants to make sure his advantage is total, is supreme, is complete before deciding to push forward and finish off Uncle Buck. But right now, that's pretty much what it is. He's actually building a random immortal. Uh, he does have plenty to build, uh, build another Colossi if he so chooses, and so an Immortal is a very interesting choice. Uh, given the Roach count that he's been seeing, maybe if he did, didn't have those Robotics Bay, uh, robotics bay up, didn't have that ability to produce his Colossi, that would be a good choice. But right now, it's just an oddball choice uh, for him to choose uh, that a unit to build this hatchery goes down and again Melanator is going to go ahead and back up Melanator right now is just pretty much toying with Uncle Buck I mean these investors are great but they are not going to be able to stop the entire army of a Melanator right now two go down three go down four go down those collides are going to do massive amounts of damage oh god why did he blink forward into all of those investors but he is a-okay that is uh, and there is no problem he's just going to go ahead and mop this up very very easily imagine that melanin imagine what happens when you attack you will succeed especially with all of those units that you had and that's pretty much it for this game it is all over g g Uncle Buck. Good job, Melanator, and that is it. Well, that was it for this replay. I hope you guys enjoyed. If not, leave a comment down below on what I could do to make these more enjoyable for you. Other than that, uh, I'm going to get on out of here because I'm fucking starving. <laughs>